G'day everyone. Uh, today I just want to talk about numbers. Today I've had two conversations with clients about pricing and whether uh, $99 or $97 is, is better and what, how the marketing implication of that is. So what I thought I'd do is go through a few numbers that matter when it comes to marketing, in particular online marketing. So the first one is number one. Number one is the best number, right? It's the top number, it's numero uno. It's good to have a single number. It's good to have a single thing. The one thing that you need to know, the one travel destination you have to see before you die, the one whatever, okay? So one is important. Two is good. It's good to have a choice of two different things, but there has to be a significant difference between Option A and option B, something better, something cheaper, something better value, something worse potentially. So two things, as long as they differ, the marketing works really well through that. Three, the rule of threes works really well in terms of, like a lot of people think in threes, I know I certainly think in threes, and I write in threes too, so I'll write a paragraph with three different options, two commas, that type of thing, um, is pretty prevalent in a lot of us. But in terms of design, the rule of three is something that's really easy for our brain to deal with as well. So, you know, in a picture you might have, uh, on Instagram perhaps, you, know, you might have a beautiful image behind it, a headline up the top, headline down the bottom, and the main image in the middle. So that rule of three is, is something that our brain loves and is easy for us to process. Five... Five is a is obviously a number we're used to. It's a handful. It's you know the five things that you have to see. We got five fingers, five toes, so it's relatable, right? So people can remember five things. It's one, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, D, E. Five is a very strong and compelling number to have included in your marketing or a list or something or, or sales pitch or whatever it might be. Five works well. Number seven. Seven is everyone's lucky number. It's not everyone's lucky number, but it's the, on average, it's more people's lucky number than any other number. So, you know, think about that in terms of if you're talking about a change to someone's wealth situation, save, saving people money, some sort of lottery, some sort of competition or promotion, use number seven. Number eight. Eight is lucky in Chinese and Eastern uh, cultures. Um, and so sometimes if, if that's part of your marketing or if you're appealing to an audience who has uh, have family um, family ties to China or, or to Eastern philosophy, then eight works really well. Um, always staying on the eighth floor in Hong Kong is really good because those rooms are awesome and it's always uh, a lot luckier to be in that situation. Number nine is interesting because studies have shown that we can't, humans, not just men, can't think or can't remember more than nine things in a row. So think about the nine, the rule of nine being that, you know, if you if you want people to memorize something or live by something, then keep it to no more than nine. Next to my list, my list is over here. Next to my list is 10. 10 is a good number. It's rounded. It's solid. But it's also a really expected number, right? So you're not really being very surprised in giving someone the 10 best tips for whatever, uh, video production or the 10, whatever. So think about 10 being solid. And if you're in an industry where, you're, uh, where your target market doesn't want to be surprised, they just want to be you know, given a certain value or a certain service and they're used to that, then 10 is great. 11 though, is one better than 10. So 11, I, I use 11 a lot in uh, headlines, uh, for blog posts, in online products, in promotions, in different things. Because the human brain sees someone gets some, 10 of something, and that's great, but if you're given 11 something, you get one extra. So 11 works really well in that kind of convincing people that you're giving them super extra stuff. Even if your blog post of the 10 most important things to include in a video um, has one bonus thing at the end. That is also very compelling. 12 is a dozen. It's a rounded number, but it's relatively expected too. And I don't use 12 very much, um, mostly because, you know, it kind of makes me think, well, if I'm going to give 12, I better give 13. I better give the baker's dozen as opposed to the dozen. So 12 might work for you. It's worth thinking about because it's a number that we recognize. 17 tests really well in terms of um, blog posts or headlines or lists or different things, um, as well as choices in a... Uh, a checklist, something like that. Online, 17 works really well, as does 21, as does 27. Don't ask me why. We tested a lot of these things when I was uh, with some other brands, and uh, these things came back a lot. Seven, oh, 11, 17, 21, and 27 all worked quite well to get people compelled and engaged in something. 
Now, 47 and 97. So the only, these are the last two I'll, I'll sort of mention. That a lot of people talk about offering a product for 50 bucks or 100 bucks. And it used, and then it sort of changed and people were saying, well, what about 99 or 49 because it seems so much better than the whole round number. It seems a little bit cheaper. And lately, again, you'll have seen a lot of people use 47 and 97, 297, 997 as prices for things. And it actually does test pretty well. It's, it's kind of half myth and half truth. So while it does test really well, it's also starting to be more and more expected as well. So maybe that's cutting through the power of it and making it less compelling, but that's up to you. And the last thing I would mention is 100. 100 is great, right? I give someone 100 or something, then, then that's awesome. Whether that's 100 bucks or 100 lists on a thing, I'm knocking over stuff, sorry. 100 uh, things on a list or whatever, then that's great. But 101 is bloody fantastic, right? Because that's one more than 100. And so there's a lot of 01 things. If you think about Levi's 501s jeans, like that's a, that's a recognizable brand. That's not Levi's 500, it's was 501 so you're getting a little bit extra value or a little bit more coolness or whatever so there's a few numbers that I, that I use and that work really well in in marketing stuff that I do and sales stuff that I do I'd love to hear what your numbers are or I'd love to hear you completely completely disagree with all mine and tell me why I'm wrong but um, get out there and use some numbers in, in, in your marketing and your promotions and your online packaging and stuff and see if this stuff helps but also if you can share something with the community that might completely de- completely debunk what I'm saying or give a little different spin. I'd love to hear that too. All right. Have a great Wednesday, everyone. See you later.